Hey guys, Mr. Lu here. If you're a controller player on Black Ops 6, here's something you need to know. The response curve in COD aren't really the same as what's shown in the game. So in this video I'm going to show you what the response curve really looks like, what the pros and cons of each curve, and which one you should choose. Just a quick note before we get started, I've been doing this test since my trip to New Zealand. It took me almost two days to test it. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, love you all. First, the standard curve. As you might expect, the standard curve looks like this. Very slow at the first 30%. Ideal for new players who don't have good control on the right stick. The curve gradually speeds up from 30% to 60%. After 60% the curve is almost linear. There's not much to say about this curve. Next, the linear curve. As you can see, the linear curve is not actually linear. It still has a slow start, but it's not as extreme as standard. It's only slow at the first 20%. Between 20% and 50% the curve gradually speeds up. After 50% the curve is almost linear. The linear curve is called linear. But it's more like a faster standard curve. Finally, the dynamic curve. The dynamic curve is not a reverse S-curve. In fact, dynamic and linear are very similar at the first 20%. But not that similar. When stick is at 10%, linear is at 1.02 and dynamic is at 1.20. This may not seem like a big difference when you look at the values. But 1.20 is about 18% higher than 1.02. This means that with the same sensitivity. Dynamic is 18% faster than linear at the start. And after 20%, the dynamic is also slower than the linear. The overall acceleration is also less and smoother. The dynamic curve is more like a reverse S curve, add on a linear curve. It makes the curve faster at the beginning and slower at the end. In the first 50%, the dynamic has less acceleration than the linear. And that less acceleration means that the first 50% of the dynamic feels more like a real linear, like Apex. That's why many people, even pros, like to use dynamic. Because dynamic is the real linear in COD. But what about aim response curve slope scale? Can you make the curve truly linear by adjusting this value? No. This is standard. And this is standard with aim response curve slope scale set to zero. As you can see, this is not real linear. It even looks a bit familiar. That's right, it looks exactly the same as linear. So what about linear? Does the linear curve change when the slope scale is set to zero? No. Linear is still the COD linear. And I also tested that when slope scale set to 0.5. The linear still doesn't change. Similarly, when dynamic slope scale is set to zero. It also becomes the COD linear. So, if you find standard a bit slow and linear a bit fast, then you can try adjusting the aim response curve slope scale. So the curve falls between standard and linear. Same with dynamic. But if you use linear, do whatever you want. It won't affect anything. And finally some of my thoughts, because I wasted a lot of my life on Apex. And the aim response curve slope scale doesn't work on linear. So why not give us a real linear when I use linear and the slope scale is set to zero. It won't hurt anyone. Instead, it might attract more players. T-R-E-Y-A-R-C-H please 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 please. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. If you have any thoughts, let me know in the comment down below. And if you want to see more FPS content, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, bye.